when you're approaching a design, how you go about it? It changes all the time for me. It depends on what the direction is. For my personal work, I really look towards architecture, which I feel like a lot of designers kind of can see, like the visual of architecture and the lines kind of mm -hmm. just flow into clothing for me. Um, I also love abstract art. I, I've always thought it was beautiful. Even in Otis, I always either painted or created things. If I had to do a 2D or 3D, it was always some form of abstract art. Um, so I think I pull a lot from those elements when it comes to my design process. So I've worked in um, industrial design before I switched over to pro digital product design. And I think my process is similar to yours, Tia, where I like looking at architecture, I like looking at different things like that, but um, also just looking at what successful products look like and taking that into consideration and like reverse engineering it um, has helped a lot because sometimes, you know, like even in school, I remember there were friends in um, digital who would be painting like, you know, like what the mass, like recreating like master paintings, you know? So that translates to in um, different parts of design and different parts of art, because I think that's where like, to me at least art might, art is where like creativity lives. So you have to have that side of you constantly. You have to keep seeing things, keep going out, um, doing all of that. But in the design space, at least the space that I've always worked in, you need some sort of um, regimented path that you need to be able to follow and ex that's how you execute. So um, just taking that creativity and then bringing it back and being like, okay, what can I make of this? That has always been sort of my um, path. Definitely. Do you feel like you have to know what's currently out there? Like as a way to- I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, even if you don't know everything, at least just, you know, just keeping tabs, like touching base with having like a few websites that um, you go to, to like watch trends. I remember mm -hmm. W, what is it called? Oh, it's WGSN. Yeah. yeah WGSN. Thank you. Yeah. To look at that all the time. <laughs> and, um, you know, just looking at Dribble is another one for, anybody interested in product design <laughs> that's a good one to see like what's mm -hmm. what's coming up and then you get to see it's sort of like Pinterest for artists oh, cool. um yeah so there are just a bunch of different websites that you can go to and the museums also Jose like you said is a great place to be 